Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So, first of all, happy Halloween. That's why I'm dressed up. It's a Halloween special. So we got a few things to talk about today. But first, we're gonna talk about some G Fuel news. Um, there's a few new flavors out right now. Um, Phase Stonks was just released. It's the blood orange flavor, and it comes in a bundle with the Phase uh, Shaker Cup to go along with Phase going on, going public as a company. And then there's also for Halloween, they have the candy corn and the brain matter flavor. Candy corn is a like a caramel, marshmallow, vanilla flavor, I believe. And brain matter is like a sweet and sour candy type flavor. Um, it's Phase Rugs flavor actually. It's not Blue Chug Rug, it's a new one. So for my birthday, which was this Friday, the 22nd, um, or last Friday, yeah, last Friday, my friend Adam Petty bought me the Sam's Club G Fuel um, uh, Phase Pack. So this comes with Phaseberry, Chug Rug, and MFAM, which MFAM is actually Nick Merckx's flavor. I haven't tried it yet. So today we're gonna test it out. If I can get it out of here. Here it is. Here's the um, design on the uh, can. I love the design. It's got Nick Marks right there. Ooh, that's good. That's really good. It's like a, um, this is called MFAM Punch. So it's like a, it's like a fruit punch kind of. It tastes mostly like pineapple to me. It's kind of, it's like pineapple strawberries, how I would describe it, but definitely try this. I do believe this is Sam's Club exclusive, but just from the first sip, definitely worth it. Check it out. Originally, this video was just gonna be G Fuel, but because I didn't have enough content with just the G Fuel news, um, we are adding an extra segment coming right after the break. I want to take a quick second to thank this week's sponsor, Elysium. Elysium is a team of content creators who, right now, we have a podcast and merch. If you guys would like to support the team and you like the shirts we got, we got this shirt as well as a white and a black version of this one and a t-shirt of this with just the Varsity logo. And we also have a box logo tee and box logo hoodie. And if you guys don't really like the shirts, you can also get a mask, mugs, and more. Elysium also has a podcast that comes out every single Monday on almost anywhere you listen to podcasts. Once again, thank you to Elysium Shy for sponsoring this video. Um, okay, so for the next part of the video, we're gonna actually be reacting to a new trailer that came out today, which is, I'm recording this on Tuesday, which, yeah, Tuesday of this week, and now it's Sunday, Halloween. Happy Halloween, everybody. But we're gonna be reacting to the Hisuian forms of Zora, Zorua, and Zoroark which are both from Unova, which is my favorite, if you guys don't know. Okay, we're starting right here. I'm so excited for this game. Turn that down a bit. Okay, there's Zoroa. Hisuian Pokemon. Spiteful Fox, Spiteful Fox Pokemon. Okay. Wait, what did that say? Oh, okay. Okay. The Hisuians of Zoroark was actually pretty cool. This was one of my favorite Pokemon in the universe, so this is sick. Okay, so basically just confirming that they're in the game. Oh. What's this? So, Baneful Fox Mask. Available until May 9th, 2022. Okay, so this will be if you um, purchase the game early, you get a mask for your character. That's pretty sick, actually. So, it's obviously inspired by Hisui and Zoroark. That's okay. So, <laughs> I don't know. I just think that's really sick, actually. I love those Pokemon. I love that. Um, the new game is adding so many Unova Pokemon and making them Hisuian forms. Um, so the the next thing we're gonna actually do is we're gonna um, look on <clears throat> the Pokemon website and we're gonna react to all the new Pokemon in Legends Arceus. Pokemon living in the Hisui Hiss or Hisui. I'm sorry, I'm probably butchering that. 
So the first starter Pokemon that you can choose are Rowlet, Cyndaquil, and Oshawott. I will obviously be going with Oshawott just because I love Samurott. Um, my favorite is obviously Snivy from Unova, but um, he's the only Unova starter here. So obviously I'm going to pick Sni uh, Oshawott. Newly discovered Pokemon. We got Weirdeer, Basculegion, and Cleaver. So Basculegion I've seen already because I saw like the video of um, the trainer riding Basculegion, which I thought was sick. Okay, so... It battles together with mournful souls of its comrades. Basculin in the Hisui region can evolve into this Pokemon. The evolution occurs when a Basculin is possessed by the souls of other Basculin from a school that could not withstand the harsh journey upstream. Basculin fights together with these souls which attack opponents as if, the, as if with a will of their own. So kind of a, kind of a dark thing here. Um, I also, I saw something about the, um, the... I'll just read it for you guys. You know what I'm talking about. So, these Zoro migrated to the His Hisui region after being driven from other lands by humans who shunned the Pokemon for manifesting uncanny illusions. So, in black and white, Zoro like can transform into different animals or humans, you know. But the Zoro panished, unable to survive the harsh Hisuian environment and strife with other Pokemon. Their lingering souls were reborn in this ghost-type form through the power of their malice towards humans and Pokemon. That's horrible. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so if they spot a lone person, um, they may appear before them in a, like a disguise that targets the opponent's appearance. Oh my god. So this is a really dark entry. Like, there's there's some dark entries. Just put a few right here. But uh, it's pretty dark. So I, want, I just want to read a few of these. I'm not going to read all of them. Well, there will be another one going over this. This is kind of just highlighting some of the new Pokemon. Okay, the Hisuian Braviary. This one caught my eye. I really like the design of this. I think that it, like, I loved um, Braviary in black and white. I love all of them. I'll, I'll say that all the time. But I think this design works better than the original, honestly. The, I love the purple, like, right here. I think that's sick. Um, so if a solitary bird Pokemon that flies in from the north in winter. So when the Rufflet and Hisui region evolve, they become Hisui and Braviary. In the winter, this Pokemon flies in from somewhere far north. It's large, larger than the previous discovered form of Braviary and tends to live alone rather than in flocks. Okay, so it's got shock waves of psychic power. Um, the Braviary can imbue it, imbue, sorry. It's eerie screeches with psychic power to generate powerful shock waves. It then uses its sharp talons to tear at and seize prey weakened by the shock waves. They're not holding back with this game. This is <laughs> this is brutal. Okay, I didn't want to look at this because I this is a brand new Pokemon. Or I believe it's a um evolution of I know what I'm talking about. I can't remember the name. I'll just put it in post. Part of its body has turned to stone. Special special minerals found in the Hisui region can cause Scyther. To evolve into this Pokemon. Parts of his body have hardened into stone. The stone parts often get get chipped during fierce battles and cleaver that have survived many battles will display larger chipping across their bodies. However, the chipping actually makes them these stone parts sharper, increasing their slicing power. It is said that the people of His Hisui once used pieces of stone that had fallen from cleaver to craft tools. That's pretty cool actually. And that wasn't as dark as um Braviary, like ripping people to shreds and Zoroa just being dead like literally dead <laughs> weird ear in the hisui region stantler can evolve into weird ear this pokemon has been treasured since long ago by the people of the, their, this region for whom it is indispensable it grows much larger when it when it evolves and the garments with the fur shed from its beard tail and legs are highly prized for their top-notch protection against the cold okay i think this will be the last one we read i think i don't know if i've read this one already Okay, I did read this one. Um, I kind of just wanted to go over some of the Pokemon Legends Arceus news because I haven't done any videos about Legends Arceus yet, but I do plan on making a series when it comes out. So I will be pre-ordering the game. Hopefully I have all of the materials I need by the time it comes out so I can make this for you guys, uh, make the Let's Play for you guys. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Happy Halloween. I hope you guys enjoyed. Come back, I believe this Friday, um, come back this Friday for a Pokemon Nuzlocke episode one of Pokemon White 
and then the week after for episode two. And keep on the lookout for these videos, kind of just keeping up with the uh, Legends Arceus and maybe some G Shield news as well. Um, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. It's been your boy Ross. Peace.